building's history know it simply as the Murder Hotel. The infamous hotel was run by a mysterious family for several generations until close to In unrelated news, the trivia murder party killer is still on the loose. Up next, more crap. This is your wake up call. Prepare to die. Welcome to Trivia Murder Party. Those free vacation coupons you received in the mail were a trick, luring you into a game with deadly consequences. Only one of you will survive, the rest of you will die. Was that clear? I'm trying to be a better communicator. Okay, first question. How did the Headless Horseman lose his head? Use your device to answer the question. And the correct answer is... Who got the question right? <laughs> Everyone is wrong. Time for consequences. Put on the do disturb sign. We're at room 101. Ah, the old skewers trick. Pick a space inside the box to hide. I'm not sure if there's oxygen, so try shallow breathing. Without looking, I'll just stab into this thing. Mind freak. What a terrible trick. I always want to just push all the buttons, but don't worry, I'll stay focused. Let's keep moving. Which of the following is not one of the four bases of DNA? Try another one. What iconic move does Elwoods teach the beauty parlor in Legally Blonde? <laughs> Who picked this? The rest of you, come with me. Welcome to room 227. This one's just about me giving you a gift. I read a Marie Kondo book and now I need to get rid of a bunch of crap. Pick a box and keep what's inside. Choose wisely. Or randomly, you know, it's up to you. That's my father's hat. I want you to wear it. Dad, you're back. Now I can finally get closure. Deadly closure. I never thought I'd be back here running the old family murder hotel. I also thought I'd never own a pair of Crocs, but the blood just washes off so easily. Let's keep moving. What was the last line spoken in the movie, Home Alone? Who picked this? But I refuse to acknowledge a reality where you're right, father. It's time. It's the mind meld. Type in an answer that fits this category. Everyone else will answer too. 
and if anyone matches you, you die. Get to writing. Time's almost up! Now, let's see if there are any matches. Idiots, I would have guessed that one. We're here! When one player is left alive, we'll go to the final round. Next question. What do Sesame Street's Burton Ernie wear? Who picked this? But I refuse to acknowledge a reality where you're right, father. Follow me. Let's get our math on! Do as much math as you can before time runs out. Everyone else will be playing along. If one of them does better than you, it's punishment time. And since my dad loves math so much, you get to multiply large numbers together. Let's go! I had an uncle that was a math teacher. No, sorry, uh, I had an uncle that ate a math teacher. Only a couple seconds of math left. Looks like you brought a knife to a math fight, which is bad. I'll kill you yet, father. Your death doesn't mean that hat has to leave the game. You have a will on your controller right now, and you have a few seconds to leave it to someone who really deserves it. But you gotta do it fast. You're not going anywhere. The end of your life isn't the end of your participation. Keep playing, and you just might steal someone else's life force and win the game. Don't worry. When a player holding one of my family heirlooms dies, they can fill out a will. They left a cherished possession to you. What a wonderful burden to receive. Let's try another one. You're all my pawns, so you may know this. How far can a rook travel in a single chess move? Who picked this? The rest of you who are still alive, and especially my dad, I want to show you something. Let's see if you put the dumb in dumb waiters. Everyone pick an elevator door. If you all pick the same side, you all live. But if there's a split decision, I will kill everyone on the heavier side. This is a good trust building exercise, and it might be your last. Come on, pick a door or I'll kill you! And there's only two of you left! Thanks for screwing up my game! 
Now that I've defeated my dad, I don't know what to do with myself. There you are. You dropped your hat. Let's keep moving. Which word comes from an Australian Aboriginal language? Who picked this? I see you've made a mistake, Father. It's time. Screw it. Let's play a game of Quiplash. The game will send a question to your devices. Enter the best answer you can think of and hit send. I'm giving you a little extra time, so come up with something funny. Don't just write something like thoughts. You're better than that. Enter something, or I will be very angry. Let's see him. A realization you have in the hotel hot tub. Ooh, it's like a stew in here. All right, everyone else, vote for the answer you like the best. The player who wrote the answer with the fewest votes dies. Let's see the votes. Can't argue with the votes. Everyone can see that the dead players are ghosts, right? I'm not just freaking out. Let's try another one. How many colored circles are on a twister mat? <laughs> Who picked this? But I refuse to acknowledge a reality where you're right, father. Time for consequences. Congratulations! You've been entered in my scratch ticket giveaway! Scratch and find three dollar signs to live. And if you keep scratching, I'll give you cash for all the extra dollar signs you find. But if you scratch off even one skull, you die. Happy scratching! If you have a losing ticket, come with me. I know you have bigger concerns right now, but you only have a few seconds to fill out that wheel on your controller. Just an FYI. Another wheel has been discovered. The family burden has been dumped on... you! Let's keep moving. What part does H. John Benjamin play in Wet Hot American Summer? Who picked this? Oh, Papa, you left yourself vulnerable. Come with me. Let's play with dice. Roll as much as you want to add to your score. I'll kill the player with the lowest score. But go over 21 and you die instead. And don't forget, if they roll a skull, that adds one to everyone's score. 
Honestly, it's mostly just an excuse to use these cool skull dice. Time's almost up. Low scores displease me. Oh, I forgot I have dinner reservations. We need to wrap this up. Okay, this is a game where only one person can survive, so... I hope you don't mind a little water. Only one of these keys will open the lock to your tank. Pick the right key before you drown. Start. Choose another key. Find the right key or die. Was that not clear? I just remembered that I have oxygen tanks in storage. Sorry. Glad to see you're the one to make it here alive. But will you be the one to escape? I'm going to give you a category. Beatles songs. Tap each. Let's see the right answers. You move forward one space for each correct answer. You're a little bit closer to escaping, but you're not alone in here. If a ghost catches up with you, they will steal your life force. Then they can escape and win the game. Here's everyone's next question. And ghosts get a third choice to help them catch up to you. Time is almost up. Those ghosts are closing in on ya! Descriptions of the Grinch!
almost gone. The darkness approaches. IKEA products. So fast, if you want to break through that barrier, you'll need a perfect answer to this question. And that includes the third answer choice now, too. You have to get all the right answers to escape. Kentucky Derby winners. Been over this. You need to get all three. Another light swap. Has web feet. Talk. Actual seasons of Survivor. Good question. 